welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Teresa. I'm Natalie. And we realized that it's actually been quite a while since we've done a more formal introduction in our videos because uh, we found out that a lot of our, you know, our viewers um, haven't seen some of our very first videos where we introduced ourselves and how we're related and everything. So just a quick reminder for everyone and for uh, new information for anyone that hasn't seen the videos. So um, like I said, I'm Michelle. I'm her mom. So she's my little girl. Um, and Teresa is actually my baby sister. So there's six of us in my family. I'm the oldest, she's the youngest, and we have a difference of 20 years between us. So a lot of people have confused them for sisters or cousins, and that is very, very common. Didn't you guys get that at school a lot? Yeah, so they went to the same elementary school for a little while, and everyone thought they were either sisters, or at the very least, cousins. They'd have to explain to everyone that they were actually aunt and niece. <laughs> Which is a super common. Um, you guys are what, two years apart? Yeah, two years apart. Teresa was in 2009, Natalie was 2011. Almost three years, because you're at the beginning of the year, she's at the end of the year. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> to give you guys a quick overview of actually how we're all related, because everyone always thinks they're both my daughters, and uh, the new little one coming is our third child. No, it's just our second. My sibling. Yeah, so she, she finally gets to be um, a sister, so that's why um, she got the shirt that says, you know, promoted to big sister and all of that. It's just she's she's been an only child for um, almost nine. You're gonna be an only child for over nine years before we finally have a second one join us. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to remind everyone that's how we're all related, and that's why she's missing from so many videos. It's not because we don't include her in the videos, okay? Where it's just me and Natalie. It's because she didn't live with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she's not always over and so, you know, I've been trying to record videos and stuff and it's not that easy because, you know, she does have to stay home for school and everything so she can't come over as often for us to, you know, record videos and all that and that's why a lot of them have been just me and Natalie. Um, but when she does come over to hang out, we, uh, we try to record at least one video. That's why she kind of comes in every now and then. But yeah, just so you guys have an explanation about why <laughs> she's not always in all the videos and why... Uh, People keep asking like, oh, you already have two, here's the third one. I'm like, no, this is actually my second. <laughs> but yeah, so introduction and everything. We have three backpacks for you guys today. Um, they're actually all a little bit different. So we're gonna do some explanations for you guys. One of them is still lounge fly, but the other two are not. And we will explain those to you because there have been some confusions about bags that come from um, Hot Topic specifically, the, and also Target. So we will go over them as we go to each bag. So Natalie, do you want to do the first one? So this is not a lounge light backpack. It is from BioWorld. Uh -huh. Whoa. Right here. So first of all, it has some, some cute stars on it. And, it, and it's like a minty green color. And it has Baby Yoda in the little cart thing. And then it has, and it has Baby Yoda all over it, except the back. So, yeah. Yeah, so we have kind of an inside joke is that my husband, he does support my backpack edition, kind of. Uh, so he bought me two backpacks for my birthday and surprised me with them. And he said that he knew that if you bought bags from Hot Topic, chances are I would not have them because I don't usually buy Hot Topic bags. And he was right. He grabbed me two bags that I did not have yet. Um, so this one we actually just discovered is a BioWorld bag, which is another kind of geeky nerdy brand that um, carries a lot of stuff from, you know, everything from Disney to Star Wars, Marvel, all of that fun stuff. Um, but they are not lounge fly. Their quality is a little bit different. Um, they're laid out kind of this similar so that you can, you, there might be some confusion, but um, it, is a, it is a different brand. I think they've been around for quite a while. Um, so as you guys can see, it is laid out differently in the sense of like it's got these kind of really thin straps not padded or anything like that made out of the same faux leather material it does have that kind of squared front pocket looking thing uh, no side pockets on this one and let's see Let me check the inside all right so it's all black on the inside nothing fancy it does have an open pocket in the front right there and 
no zipper pocket in the back. We just wanted to check, but yeah. So nothing super fancy. It does have, an, like I said, an inside pocket, which a lot of lounge fly backpacks don't have that people don't like. And then it does have just, you know, a, about the same size front pocket as most of the lounge fly mini backpacks. So um, the nice thing about the um, Hot Topic bags is they do tend, um, and then Bio World in general too, they do tend to run a little bit more um, on the affordable end, close to usually like $40 or so, $40, $50. Um, so they're not as expensive as a lot of the lounge fly ones. Um, but with the same, like, you know, similar cute designs. Um, so for those of you who like the backpacks but don't have the money to spend as much or don't want to spend that much, they're great options for um, younger kids if you have them. You know, Nally does. Um, have lounge fly backpacks herself, but um, for if you have like smaller children, you don't want them to ruin, you know, a $75, $90 lounge fly backpack. Um, these ones from uh, Hot Topic are great alternatives for a more affordable price, and so you don't feel as bad if your child trashes it and drags it around. But all right, so there's that first one. And Teresa, you want to do the next one? This one's a Pizza Planet backpack, and this one is the lounge fly one. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, as she pointed out, this one is the lounge fly bag. And so as you can see, the reason why I got confused is they are fairly similar in the sense of like, you know, it's got like the more um, cheap strap that a lot of the Hot Topic um, lounge fly backpacks have. So that's why I got confused. I thought that was also a lounge fly, but it's not. Um, so yeah, so first thing that you see is that it doesn't have those padded straps that most lounge fly backpacks do, like the um, higher end ones, the normal ones. They all have padded straps. These ones are just these kind of flimsy ones, which is a, you know, a big turnoff for people who like carry their backpacks around a lot more than I do. I like the padded straps just because they are, well, they're padded, they feel better. Um, you do have the same kind of front, you have the same front pocket, the same more or less same layout of the whole bag itself, but you are missing the side pocket there and then you don't get the fancy um, lounge fly metal plaque either. Um, they're often, don't even say lounge fly on them. And then just kind of saying, you know, where, um, I forget the term for it but like they'll say Disney or Pixar or Marvel um, rather than Loungefly on it. And obviously this is from Toy Story. That's why it says Pixar. Pizza Planet. Mm -hmm. And then just to check the inside for you guys, this is another common thing is that they don't have any of the fancy lining like the other Loungeflies do. It's just black on the inside. Um, let's see, no zipper pocket does have an open pocket in the back there. And so those are a few of the differences that we'd like to point out because, like I said, a lot of people have asked about the differences between, you know, the regular lounge flies versus Hot Topic lounge flies because they asked why, why is the price lower? And they're lower because the quality is a little bit lower. It's not as fancy as the bigger bags. Um, and that's why these usually run, you know, in the $40 range. And that's what this one is. This one's $39.90. Um, so those are in the more affordable range bags. And like I said, so the main differences are no padded straps. A lot of them tend to be missing the side pocket, um, no fancy lining or anything like that on the inside usually, but they do usually have some kind of inside pocket. Um, another notable thing too is uh, just very plain zippers. They're just the thin, you know, normal zippers with no um, lounge fly printed in there as well but still super cute bag. Like I said, I love the Pizza Planet thing because Toy Story is one of my favorite movies, um, my favorite series in general. And uh, this is very cool too. I don't know if you guys can quite tell from the video, but this is textured right here. Oh mm -hmm. So the white is cool. raised and the black is um, deeper in. So you do feel a nice print there. So there's, I'm not saying that they're like horrible or anything like that. They are just, you know, there's little things on it that make it so that they um, fall into the more affordable range. So they're not bad bags at all in the sense of like, they're going to fall apart or anything. I like, I haven't really used them. So I guess I can't really quite tell just yet. I do plan on using these as a uh, diaper bags <laughs> for uh, when the baby arrives. And that way they, you know, in case I stuff, stuff them a little bit more full and all of that, I don't feel as bad as stuffing, you know, my $90 lounge fly bags. 
um, although I don't pay that price for most of them, but still. Uh, anyways, you know, that. so they're not, I'm not saying anything bad about them. They are great, they're affordable. Um, they have different designs for these ones versus those ones too. So you get a different variety of bags, but they're great for being more affordable if you don't want to spend as much on the bags or as you're um, buying for a younger child or anything like that. And that way they can do whatever they want for the bags and you won't feel as bad. Um, yeah, is there anything else about this one that you can think of? So, this one, so basically, um, the size is like, it's like more like rounder and this one's like more like square. Yeah, the bio world ones. I mean, they're they're definitely different. That's why you like their bio world. I think I just didn't look that closely at it to think about the fact that it is a different brand. And I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. It is very windy where we are today. And um, you know, we've been sitting in like 80 something degree weather, and all of a sudden today it's like wind because we're recording. Well, they probably thought yeah. of Toy Story. So let's move on the wind, all right. And then, all right, so last one for today, another bag that gets confused for lounge fly. I think that's kind of our theme for this video is bags that like kind of get confused with like lounge fly stuff. One of them is lounge fly, but there's like, you know, people question the stuff about it and all that. Um, but yeah, so that one is, like I said, it doesn't say lounge fly anywhere on the bag itself, but on the tag does say lounge fly. So it is a lounge fly bag. Um, the, this one came from Target. It is for the um, 65th anniversary of Disneyland. So this is Target's exclusive line. So I think for the anniversary, a lot of different stores got exclusives. Um, so the park itself got exclusives, which I have that bag I can show later. Um, Target got their own exclusive. Box Lunch got their own exclusive. And I wanna say Amazon got their own exclusive. I think that's it. Um, but each of them got their exclusive bags that got print released and everything. Um, so here's the thing, a lot Target has released bags every now and then that look kind of like lounge fly bags and so people have gotten confused about whether or not they are. They are not, they are Funko brand bags. So that's the same as this one, this one is a Funko brand bag that was released as an exclusive for Target for the 65th anniversary. Um, they've done it with a couple Star Wars ones that I have. I, don't, I can't remember. We've done reviews on them already. I think we did. Um, have a check back. Yeah, I think they, I think we we have done them. And then um, there was a Marvel one that was like UV activated that you can um, that glow in black light, and uh, a few others. But yes, so they're not Loungefly, which is the confusion. They are Funko, which is you know the company that bought Loungefly a few years back. So that's why they look really similar in design, but don't have, you know, a lot of the normal launch fly stuff, you know, like the fancy uh, zippers and all of that. But just want to show you guys what this one looks like. And so the reason for the weird shape right here is because it is a sling back backpack. So technically what you can do is zip the two straps together and wear it as like a sling style backpack. I don't know what the term is for it. You wear it so it's, it goes across your back. It doesn't like just hang down your back. Like a, um, a guitar. There you go. Like, you know, it's like, you know, the people wear the guitar behind their backs. That's what it looks like. So is it just goes. Like yes, the Kingdom Hearts bag. So it's, it slings across your shoulder. So it, like, it sits like a crossbody purse, but you know, the bag sits on your back. Um, and then you can unzip it and then make it into two straps and wear it like a normal backpack. As you can see, I have yet to actually use this bag, so I do not know if my hair is going to get caught in the zipper. That is the big concern right now, is that you're gonna get your hair caught in the freaking zipper when you unzip it and wear it around. Time for ponytail. I have not tested it out. I'm a little scared too, because my hair gets caught on everything. Time for ponytail. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wear a ponytail or something while I wear it. But just to show you guys, that is why it has that weird shape. I think it's so that it's meant to like sit across your bag and that's why it's got that weird shape. But anyways, um, just a small front pocket that's flush with the front of the bag. No side pockets, but it does say a nice anniversary thing there. Nothing on the other side. Let's check the inside. Nothing fancy, just blue. Super, super. Nope, no zipper either. 
super plain on the inside thing. Nothing in there. But yeah. I think that's pretty much it for this one. Like I said, this is a video where we kind of go through some of the um, confusion of the different backpacks that people aren't really sure if they're lounge fly or not. But those are those three. But yeah, I think we're good. that's it for today. Yeah, anything else? We're good. Alrighty, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching as usual. And um, what do they need to do? Like, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when we upload a new video. Uh -huh. And is there anything you should get them to comment on this one? I need to stop springing this question on them. Like before we record, I need to be like, think about something that we would like them to comment on. I have an Thanks. idea. What? Comment if you have any questions about the different the different lash light backpacks. And which ones? They, which ones are each? Random. <laughs> <Right> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I think she wants you to just comment if you have any questions or confusions about the different, different bikes. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we will see you guys all next time. <laughs>